Hi, my name is Bruno Gobato. I'm speaking directly from Brazil. Thank you, Dr. Napi, for this opportunity. And we're going to speak about the metaverse and shoulder arthroplasty. How can we use AR, augmented reality, and virtual reality, and how is the we are thinking will be the future in the next few years. So the objective of this presentation is to show examples of real life, this outer, real life, augmented reality and virtual reality. How can we use for teaching, training, discussing and performing surgery and a glimpse into the future. Uh, first of all, we know, we know to understand some different terms. When we are speaking about VR, which is virtual reality, you can see here in this picture, this guy is totally immersed. So he sees nothing, only the digital world. And we, when we are speaking about augmented reality, AR is something like Tony Stark, Iron Man. He has he see the whole world and he can see virtual objects in his field of view. This is an example of a VR. It's the also VR platform. So you, you are totally inside a virtual OR room, then you can use it for training and practicing surgeries. That's not what we are doing. We are using more the augmented reality that we are going to show. But in the future, everything will be merged together in something called extended reality. We don't need to understand the terms. We just need to understand a little bit about the technology. In the future, we are going to have mixed reality, augmented reality, everything together, gaming and artificial intelligence, everything together. And that's what we're going to see. Can we do it free? Yes, we can today. We can do it augmented reality with a piece of paper or in a, a, a smartphone app. So we can use this app called Augment. And here we can see the planning of a reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. Even with the graft, we can see here in red, or we can see the planning for a clavicle fracture using our smartphone and a very simple piece of paper. We can do different. We can have the same piece of paper and fold it into a cube like that. It's called that merge cube. And then we are showing here uh, at, at Exatech booth a planning of the Exatech implant using this kind of technology. So this example we are using, for example, for our medical students, these are 3D models, real life 3D models from patients, from CT scans, and we can use them to teach anatomy. The students can use and see 3D anatomy at their own uh, hands and for free. This app is free, you just need to upload your models. This is an example of uh, reverse total shoulder planning, also using this scoop. We are using, in this case, a German implant called Agilon, the implant cast implant. And this example of uh, planning of a proximal humor fracture that we can have inside the OR room, what we plan to do, how we plan to, 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 to reduce the graph that we, we plan to, to do. And here is our planning for this case using augmented reality. For that, we need some devices we call the glasses. I'm using a HoloLens, but there are other glasses and new glasses every time. This is an example of teaching anatomy. I'm teaching the students the external anatomy. So I'm teaching how to do physical exam and how to, to exam. In this case, we're teaching the iliac crest. Now I'm teaching how to palpate the knee. So I'm showing the digital models where I'm palpating, and then I show where I am need to palpate. So for that, we are using uh, augmented reality. This case is how to show and visualize the surgical planning. In this case, a very simple case of a clavicle fracture. So this is a clavicle fracture surgery made with the, the guidance of uh, augmented reality. So we have the digital models. We have everything we need to do, the lateral and the medial fragment, everywhere each screw should be. And then we are going to use that to replicate our surgery. We can do for planning, for example, reverse total shoulder topacy. This is an app called the Avalotis app, and we can use it for planning. In this case, a reverse total shoulder. Here I am in my, in my home office. 
We can do different planning. This is a different, uh, different implant. We are planning first the glenoid axis, then we plan the implant itself, as you can see here, and we can use also 3D printed uh, models, in this case, patient-specific guides. So we are merging everything together. This is the surgery, the view of our surgery in one of our first surgeries. It was a very severe inclinated glenoid. So we should put the implant very inclinated. So we use augmented reality to guide us during the surgery where to place the implant in the correct position. We can do also remote assist. In this case, is a surgeon in Switzerland called Mohitaha. And I'm in my computer, I'm putting an arrow where he should put, she should, should, should put the, the osteotomy. And at that arrow is placed in his field of view. So he's seeing that arrow glued to the model, to the humeral head. So now he knows where to do the osteotomy. This is an example how we can uh, compare a 3D printed model and uh, augmented reality model. As you can see, they are pretty much very, very similar. We are uh, exploring, uh, trying different ways. This is an like augmented reality ultrasound. This is the ultrasound from my, from my, from my home office. And we are thinking about future procedures using ultrasound and augmented reality. And also for arthroscopy, we are thinking about how we can use augmented reality in arthroscopy. This is just uh, us testing this kind of technology. It's not ready yet. And this is how we do. This is me with the glass. We project the models. And we can also have during the surgery, the aid from surgeon, this is the surgeon Thomas Gregory from France and Thomas Erickson. They are seeing everything that I see from my field of view and I can see them just as you can see. And we are performing the surgery at two hands, but three heads to perform a surgery. This is me and Dr. Mohi Taha from Switzerland planning a surgery ourselves. Dr. Mohi is using the glass. This is a glenoid and I'm seeing his field of view and we are uh, discussing how to perform and to plan a reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. This is another example. This is my field of view. I'm using a glass. This is my office. And this is Dr. Mohitaha. And we are planning together a reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. We are discussing what we are going to do. And this is the field of view from Dr. Mohitaha from Switzerland. Now he's seeing me, that's me. And now he's, his field of view what we are doing, the same planning together, me in my home in Brazil, he is in his home in Switzerland. This is another meeting that we did with Brazil, South Africa, France and Belgium, four surgeons discussing a, a case that it's from Dr. Professor Thomas Gregory and we have to participate. And this is the surgery that we uh, uh, helped Dr. Professor Thomas Gregory to perform a reverse total shoulder with three surgeons uh, alive in this procedure. This is another example of a different way as we can, we are doing a round table. We are discussing cases using our avatars with real life roles. We can use image, we can use uh, CT scans. I can grab, I can show, uh, this is, is Dr. John showing me what he's finding. And now again, he's showing in the CT what he's understanding. And here is me grabbing now this, the image and showing him what I think about this case. This was my field of view. And now the field of view from another surgeon, Dr. Mohitaha. And now this is me, this is my avatar. This is how Dr. Mohitaha in Switzerland see the same planning as we did. So, this is how we see how we can merge technologies together. Probably we're going to have artificial intelligence merged with this kind of technology, but that's for another presentation. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Bye-bye.